Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we figured out how to come up to this uh, little wellspring island here. I died a lot <laughs> for some reason in two fights. I died over here as well, but that cross is now gone. Uh, so we figured out the total lake and the, the transcripts, and then we get some more information that in the end led us here. We have climbed it for a bit already, but then the time ran out on the last episode. I'm still a bit sick. So uh, the episode still comes once a day, huh? Nice. Orbs of water. So here we have a shrine that also is affected by, by this um, low gravity. We unlocked this last episode, but we didn't have time to do it, so that's why I'm starting with it for this episode. Okay. Can I just grab the chest if I'm quick? I think so. If I aim as well. Yeah, I did. <laughs> nice. And I can grab the blobs. That's actually great knowledge. Let them explode, so a new one can appear. It's the fruits I grab, I guess. Okay, I understand. I should... I shouldn't even be on this one. Whoa! <laughs> what was that speed? I like flew out of that bubble so hard. Okay, let this explode. And then when the next one appears, we just rewind it. Oh, now I do it again. I'm so, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Oh. It's like my brain doesn't work when I'm sick. It's really weird. That's a bit early. That is better. This I should just go into. Here we go. Why is it a platform there? It feels like that has some meaning to it. It does. Come on. Oh my god, I will take damage again. <laughs> oh. The hell? Oh, this is too much thinking for me today. Why is this here? And why can it go s Oh, my brain isn't functioning for this type of puzzles. Like is this used to... Oh, okay, you should just make it like a ramp for the water to slide upwards, I guess. Something like that. Put it in the middle. 
that's not really the middle. So if I jump onto this... Okay, yeah. I need to stop overthinking things. Like if we approach a boss up here, which we're probably gonna do in some type of temple. If it's the same as Rita Village. I don't like my odds of winning that fight. <laughs> We also need to go and pray. We have soon two upgrades to do. Now we never have to done, do that shrine again, which is nice. Uh, okay. So I guess if, if we hit this... It's gonna like shoot forward. Okay. That like charge it. Okay, and then it should. And that's a construct, huh? I got a comment on how to fight them, so maybe we should try it this episode just to see how we manage. And also this one we cannot forget. And over there looks like uh, it should be a chest or something, so we need to do that as well. But we start here. This give us a steering wheel over here. That would make me really, really happy. My brain doesn't even function in the search here. <laughs> mm. No steering wheel, huh? But batteries, they are nice. I guess that's got everything from here. Oh, it's five things you can drop here. It's like a whole island on this side as well. Because that was where a chest were from last episode. Let's just explore this side first. That's a sun lion, right? Yeah, good for the depths. Is it a chest down there as well? Yeah. That was a bit scary. Thing is, I don't know if I want to fight my first. Ooh. My first. Um... Let's drop this one. My first. Uh... This construct boss in this type of gravity is like it might not be positive uh, for me to have this low gravity. Okay, here we need to clear these three. Give me a nice little headshot. Nice headshot. Boom. They are not one shot kills. My bow broke. One died. Two to go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> that hit him for some reason. I ain't complaining because he would have hit me otherwise. And the last. No. Oh, that's a bad aim. Oh. That's a good spear. It's all this good loot we get up here. Uh, yes. Throw this magic thingy away. We don't really use them. <laughs> this 
it least easy to get like the slow mo shots up here. Oh my god. It's a lot of shots needed to kill him. <laughs> Thank you. But this loot is so good. Sturdy thick stick. That's a nice little stick. So I'm actually gonna drop something for it. Probably that one. Ah, I wanted the slow-mo. Thank you. Went through him. Oh, I'm look, look, I'm almost out of arrows. This is not maybe the smartest thing to do. <laughs> but I don't care. I don't trust my fighting capabilities with my sword today. It's I'm way too slow in my head. And I will probably wait for that dude until I'm uh, feeling better health-wise. And here we can just ascend instead of waiting for that thing. Not the best flight, but it, it managed. It was enough, at least. Oh. Oh my god. Ow. I thought I jumped over that. I did not. Quickly approach. Thank you. Captain Construction Horn. Get a lot of like uh, good uh, crafting materials here for weapons. Uh, we're going upward, huh? Okay, so we we need to jump into this. Feels a bit the same as the out in Rito village when we were jumping on the boat's uh, roof. A bit similar way to approach the top here. Oh. Probably a chest over there. If I could guess, yeah. Nice. A new old map. We still have one that we haven't looked at in the depth. Let me just show you. It's down like here. Yeah. And now we have one here as well. Nice. That is also a episode we need to make soon. Explore those old maps would be fun to figure out what that what that is oh here we have three enemies so let me just jump once more the thing is i don't have like arrows i'm all out soon ah at least that was a one shot this is probably not a one shot but it's enough to crit, because then we can go up to him. That was close. Okay, so they make 5 damage and 3 quarters. That's like my whole life. Uh oh. I'm super scared. 
Ah, we've got arrows. <laughs> Boom. Double crit. Because that means we can go up to one of them. Uh oh. Oh shit. That was really good. That my shield took the damage there. And now he doesn't count as dead even though he fell down. Maybe he will now, yeah. Like that's a... Sh that's a high fall. He should die from that fall. Nice. Uh, this one, I guess. Nothing else of value over here. Doesn't look like it. Are we approaching the top now? Yes, this is one we should rewind. Ah, oh, it's been there for too long. I'll take the other one instead. Oh, that one. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I want that one. Yeah. And I want to jo join it as well. Thank you. Yes, I guess I can, if I, I can grab this, yeah, and I can steer one bubble to go towards the chest place. I want it something like, I also want it upwards. Something like that, I guess. Then I also need to... <laughs> Have time to jump onto it. But this maybe just will make it bounce back. Oh. Let's grab the thing. Can't I just ascend here? <laughs> I think I actually can. Or maybe not because the water is here. But if I... Turn the water off... Does anything happen then? My god. I wanted to throw the thing I was carrying, not my weapon. <laughs> that was a bit scuffed. I guess I placed it so I can't ascend. See if I he I'm here, I'm still not underneath, huh? Nope. Okay. I'm stupid. Just take one of these and put them on the water so you can stand on the water. Ah, uh, my brain always today compli complicates things. But it sinks, huh? But if I stack a lot of them... Or if I build a bridge, like a normal person, that's like wide enough or long enough to... Look! My brain works. And there we go. What 
what is this type of weapons I get? They are so powerful. Take this one. This is just making a ramp. As we did earlier. Oh my god. I can't even see what I'm ro rotating. No. The hell? Stop living your own life. Thing. Oh my god. There we go. And there we go. See. Even I can manage. That should be enough, I hope. Not the best rotation, but I think I can glide over. I just want some more height here. This should be good. And it's the plan here to make uh, with with do those platforms something. Or should we do... I think we're gonna do a skateboard that gives us a lot of speed. <laughs> and then we like fly up. Let's try that at least. That sounds the, like the most fun way to do this. So we're gonna use like three or four of these fans. I would love the steering wheel. Oh! Now you got a bit back heavy. And also it's so slow motion. Mm. If I put put them on the side, but we do it twice, because now it's bad. Ah, oh, it's still... Back heavy, of course it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try this either way. Just for fun. I can't. If I walk forward, I'm gonna jump over this thingy. Okay. Yeah, that's too much weight. So, with two, we actually can manage if we just stand on it. So let's try that then. So, we need to jump off just to line it up better. that it's a good line dude don't be too heavy on me <laughs> oh that was great didn't really work as planned maybe one is enough huh It was. See, that was nice. And here we have our dude side. Was it Sidon? The prince. Yeah. This really is such a strange place. My body felt light as air, allowing me to soar surprisingly high when it was when I was climbing the waterfalls. 
As we are in an unfil unfamiliar place, let us proceed with caution, Link. Please take care as you forge ahead. Dude, I will. Are you coming with me? I really don't want to get one shotted here. Ooh. That was a perfect dodge. Nice. The weapon will probably be super strong. Done and done. Link, let us keep pushing forward. Let us. Yes, please. That's a big blade. That's a nice bow. Ooh. I guess I'm dropping... I've never used this boomerang. Uh, we have, but it's no good. Let's keep on up going, dude. Let's quickly see if we don't miss any loot. <laughs> from what I can tell, all the sludge waterfalls are flowing from the ruins above here. In other words, if there is a source for this sludge somewhere, it must be... Link! Once you are amply prepared, let us dive right in. I'm not really ready, because I have no arrows and no food, but let's go. I guess this will be a temple time right now. Yep, water temple, nice. Dude is spewing sludge everywhere. Hmm, how magnificent. You think that such a structure was floating in the sky above our own Sora domain? Link, look! That is surely the source of the sludge, I'm certain of. We must do something about it. Hmm. Are we gonna open the faucets or something like that? That is it. Link, you see? Do you not? If we could only make use of the water. Guess we're gonna... Start this thing first. That sludge looks really nasty. It's not gonna be enough. It seems it did not work. But you saw it too, did you? Using that mechanism did have an effect. There simply was not enough water. Hmm, that sound again. Cherished kin. This is the source of the pure waters of Zora's domain. Use your power to turn on the four faucets and you can collect water here. Oh, this is gonna be a pain. It happened yet again. 
Only this time I heard the voice loud and clear. The four faucets, I see. If we turn those on, we can acquire more water for the water vessels. Uh -huh. Right, let us get to work, Link. Together with our powers combined, there is nothing in the world that can stop us. Uh, with my brain today, it's a lot of things that can stop us. Trust me. Okay, let's open the map. Yes, to... Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm so freaked today. B1. That's down here. And how do we get there? I'm not sure. <laughs> we have three places on this floor. Let's try to get upwards so we can just... Okay, don't waste arrows on them because we don't have almost any arrows. I guess these platforms are too big to, to move, yeah. arrows just for the sake of it no 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 ah damn what was that first hit dude <laughs> so bad uh, That's actually quite good. Nice. Don't want to be in the water here. Broke. Great. Take out another heavy weapon. Nice. Actually, if we switch to... I already have sneak. Can sneak like this. Maybe we can do a crit attack in the back on him. Yeah. Nice. So we need to be a bit uh, resourceful with the arrows. What do I have? 28 still? I think I will want to use them for the boss fight. So here's some type of ball thingy. I guess I will... Make the ball bounce from under the water and then I'm gonna stand on it. I guess not. Uh -huh. If I just take it up in the air then... That's not quite as high as I wanted, but maybe it's enough. And just make it drop. Can I climb it? Oh my god. And can I... Is this even possible or is this just wishful thinking? I think this is... I don't know if that's the... Intended way, or is it the, is the intended way is to get the ball over here? Maybe. Okay, those we don't need to waste the powerful weapons on. Here we have platforms, and over here is something. <laughs> okay. And that's inside where we want to be. So we need to get the water away from here. Okay. Somehow. Let me just climb this. Just to get some... Some perspective on this place. Okay, so the ball need to go so need to go up. Somehow. 
Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see. Well, good to get some perspective, actually. Oh. Made me see this. Oh my god. I forgot. You cannot throw in there. And you will dive down to your death. Oh my god. Thought you would take it, dude. And I will just drop it here instead then. And also, do I need to be with the water here? I think so. Because where does it end? If we're lucky, it will go all the way. It will probably go all the way there. How long will it keep going? <laughs> there it breaks, okay. Boom. And is it possible to just force it down here? What is this thingy? Ah, okay. So this... Tips it on water. So if we... And then rewind it quickly, so it still be there. Link, do you see that? I guess here we're gonna use the water ability. I'm certain that this water wheel must be connected to the temple's faucets. Yeah, so give me your... <sighs> dude, I need your power over here, dude. You cannot just stand over there and chill. I need you over here. Where are you now, then? Oh, there you are. Okay. So I will need to do things in the correct order. Open this. For a while. And then quickly rewind. I'm ready. And shoot. Nice. One down, three to go. Yes, you got one flowing. This is great. Just three. And the best way to get across from here. And also, this is actually a good place to see if we can go in from underneath. There is some fire. Yeah, I think we're going... We're going down now. I guess with the fire you can use his, uh, like, water shield and you can go straight through here without taking damage. At least that's my theory. And if my friend can join me, please. <laughs> there you go. Yep. Is this just for opening up the... Yeah, because we need him with us, and I guess he's... He's unable to put the shield on himself, maybe? So either this will work... Yeah. Ball there. There is the faucet, or the crane thingy we wanna turn on.
This feels pretty simple. Okay, if you throw this... Okay. <laughs> Not as intended. Maybe we don't even... We can maybe just do like this. Yeah, I guess so. And then... Yeah. And now we have... The ball... Above. Doesn't reach all the way up. Let's just keep it there. Activate this first. Put it up a bit. Grab that one. Oh, was that a chest I saw? It was. Need, need it. Really important. Gravity some way, sometimes trips me out. Oh, and this takes my battery now as well. That's no good. Makes like the whole thing here goes go on time. Oh, I hate when you jump before walking, and you're like really. Please be enough. I will use up all my so nice charges here. Oh no, don't fall. Okay, quickly eat one of these. Now I need to be able, yeah. You. And is this actually enough for taking the ball upward? Yes, was super close of not being though. Nice. Now we can just walk away so those batteries stop straining. <laughs> How far do I need to walk? Nice. No, don't tell me the ball has reset. No, thank you. That would, that would actually. Trip me out. So we need to attach this ball here now. Then if we activate this, and like force it in the hole, and then it stands in the hole. Okay. Let's go, dude. Need your water. Two down. Two to go. Thank you, thank you. Now it's just two left. Ascend here. Good day, sir. One arrow is... It's okay to use. Uh oh, I'm gonna take damage. Yeah, so that might coming miles away. Okay, I'm gonna eat all my food before the boss fight. What is taking my battery still? Jelly. 
Yes. We want to take this water thing, but it doesn't rise. But maybe if we make it go high and then also make it go low, we need to do. And then we want to... That's not enough, huh? That's a bad plan. So how can we make it go upwards more? Can we use like his ability to make them move? No. Ignore that for, for a while. Like if I climb this one, can't I just glide over? I think I can. I feel like I've done this temple not at all the intended way. <laughs> but whatever works, works. I think this is enough. Yeah. I didn't even notice this dude. And the bow. It's important. Nice. We have one over here. Yes, we're gonna... Offer one spear to this face, so we can just approach him. Okay, they are immune. <laughs> they don't know how to swim. That's actually great knowledge for me. I have a lot of bows already. Anything fun in the water? There's the ball. That's not the ball, that's a water thingy. I guess we're gonna clean... It looks like some sludge in there. Is that what they want me to clean? It's not easier to just jump. Yeah. So we got the slow-mo here. Did that do anything? Looks like it did. Okay. We will wait for the... Nice. <laughs> I would say, overall, this temple has been a lot easier than the first temple. But still fun. Still really fun. And I'm actually glad it's been a bit easier, because my brain today, as you all know, it doesn't really work. Now it's one to go.
I'm gonna take the bow that was dropped over here earlier. Because one of my bow already got destroyed. That's two-handed. No good. Ooh, fire fruits. Always nice. And some arrows. Thank you. Those we need badly. I already have three skateboards, so you will not be taken. Yay! Even more arrows. I guess this uh, spinning thing should get water to open up the okay so put one on each side and then just Then I need something to carry the electricity. I guess water does it. It's like, after these like four region things, are we gonna have four people running around as ghosts behind me? It's gonna be hectic behind me then. I did it, Link. Okay, they're all filled up. Now we just need to use the central device. And fight a boss, if I could uh, guess. Okay, let's go. Safe Not quite yet, I don't think. Huh? Not good. The hell is that? <laughs> That's a cute boss, Muktorog. This strange creature must be responsible. Now it's a bit. Let's go. Now it's a bit more scary, huh? Okay, so. Oh, 
Okay, okay. Oh my, are you for joking me? Ah, that's bad. Can I just throw these as well if I want to? Wow, 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 okay. Good to know he does that sometimes. Ah, that's a great healing meal, one heart. I'm way too slow. Okay, you can do that as well. But he needs more than one, I guess. Ah! I hate the slow-mo. <laughs> slow-mo throws. Dude, can you just stand still? I guess three times this time, if I could make a guess. So why not just shoot arrows then? It's easier. Because then you can be in slow-mo. Oh, I need to... We gotta stop it, you say. No. Chill with the damage, huh? <laughs> uh, 14 of this. That's better. Then we run up, hit him some more. Is this a second phase now? Let's use some water, yes, indeed. They also spawn. Wow. That's a bit scary. Is that enough? No. Uh, give me your power, dude. Not that power. And he makes new sludge, huh? Oh my god, this dude is annoying. <laughs> Where are you? Yeah, I know we can do a lot of things to clear it away. Just let me hit him some. Oh my god, I'm so slow. that we had a lot of these jellies, to be honest. Huh? I would say this boss is pretty easy now when I have figured it out. Start with this, bomb. And he will get angry, and then you shoot another sludge on the thingy. That will make him jump out. He will start to jump into this. It's the slow-mo that makes it so much easier. <laughs> Give him a bright seed. That should be almost enough. Hopefully he will die here, yeah.
Nice. Those we need as well. <laughs> Another seed. Guess from my good friend Sidon. So, heart container, please. Thank you. And nice. Now we're gonna watch a long and nice cutscene, which makes me not have to talk, which is good, because <laughs> it's in exhausting to talk when I'm this sick. My cherished kin. That voice again. You're the one we've been hearing this whole time. Indeed. I am your ancestor from a time long past. I served the first king of Hyrule as a Zora warrior and a sage who, like you, could direct the flow of water. You are the pride of the Zora. Your fluid, graceful movements as you fight. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You bested the monster that sullied our domain, but it was a servant of a greater evil, the Demon King. His true purpose was to prevent you from obtaining the stone that you just found. My secret stone. That stone that you are wearing? Yes. And it is important you know more about the stone and the Demon King. So listen closely to what I have to say. It concerns the imprisoning war and the destiny of our people. Goosebumps one again, once again. Though we Zora live long lives, this all happened in a time ancient even to us. The Kingdom of Hyrule was still in its infancy. A great evil. The Demon King appeared. He invaded Hyrule and sought to cut the New Kingdom's time short. But Rahu, the first King of Hyrule, brought me and five other warriors together to oppose him. To fight the Demon King, Rahu entrusted us with secret stones. Treasured artifacts that amplify the power of those who carry them. As the Sage of Water, I bore a secret stone and fought alongside my fellow sages in battle. However, the Demon King's power was overwhelming. Even my strongest defenses could not stop his ferocious attacks. In the end, our leader realized it would not be possible to defeat the Demon King outright. He chose to end the battle by sealing the Demon King away, sacrificing himself in the process. So that was the imprisoning war. Some time later, another of the six sages, the Sage of Time, came to visit me, and the destiny of the Zora was made crystal clear. The magic restraining the Demon King will eventually be undone. When that happens, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. We must help. Lend him your power. He will need the Zora's control over water. The course of the Zora's future was clear. It would be our honor to aid in defeating the Demon King. I swear to you that when the great evil returns, the Zora Sage of Water will awaken once more. 
The Zora people and their sage will fight alongside your swordsman. That is everything there is to share of the imprisoning war and of the destiny of the Zora. Zora's domain is once again safe thanks to you. However, the Demon King continues to threaten all of Hyrule. Sidon, my cherished kin, you must take up my secret stone and honor the vow I made to the Sage of Time. Fight alongside the swordsman, Link. It's my destiny to fight by your side. I came here so that I could save Sora's domain. But it looks like all of Hyrule will need my help. I'll do all I can, just as my ancestor did. I will accept this secret stone. water. Behold, this is my new power. Nice. Here, the goose. Your hand. Sage of Water, swear that I will fight by your side. Please accept this. It is proof of my vow. The second ring. With that ring, you will always have my power with you. We'll partner up again. Yes. All right. Let's head back home. Let's head back home, dudes. Domain is back to its past glory. Whoa. Link, welcome back. Oh. Link, have you seen? The sludge has vanished without a trace. <laughs> Link, thanks to your courage, the in inhabitants of Sora Domain are safe once again. No words could express the depths of my gratitude. Thank you, hero, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. As for you, Sidon, though Link certainly played a key role for your o your own efforts to save the domain were nothing short of magnificent. Mm. I have always believed in you, Sidon. Now you have unequivocally proven your worthiness to bear the crown. 
That is why I shall joyously take this opportunity to pass the throne to you. Oh. Father, this is so sudden? Oh. No, it only seems that way. In truth, it has been heavy on my mind for some time. Sidon, my son. It is time to ascend the throne as the new king. Take Yona's hand and as one lead Sora's domain to a brighter tomorrow. Me? The king? And she? The queen. Let's do it. Thank you, father. I will not let you down. I swear it. That's the spirit boy. <laughs> now, accept your place upon the throne. The finest swordsman in all of Hyrule shall bear witness to this momentous occasion. <laughs> Silence, everyone. I hereby inherit this crown from my father, exalted Dorofan. From this moment on, I shall be king of Sora. <laughs> At the same precious moment, I ask that you also open your heart to your new queen, my beloved Yona. That's cute. Sure. The sludge threaten us no more. We are once again free to swim throughout crystal waters beneath azure skies without fear. We could not have achieved this without our dear King Sidon, our heroic Sir Link, and all of us who call the domain a home. I am so proud and so grateful to count myself among the Sora of the domain. However, that does not mean that all matters have been resolved. Right you are, my love. So long as darkness lurks in the depths of Hyrule, this peace we have fought so hard for could vanish like a bubble on a needle. We shall not allow that. It is now time for the Sora to help Link prevail. Everyone, I ask you to lend him your strength. Doing just that shall be the first task that I and my partner in life and I in leadership shall undertake as your king and queen. First thing first, my friend, regarding the whereabouts of Princess Zelda. When I obtained the secret stone, we saw a vision of the, that woman, the Sage of Time. The resemblance was uncanny, and she also knew your name. Could that be the real Princess Zelda? If by some, some, if by some strange occurrence that is so, that would mean she has journeyed to the bygone era of my ancestor, ancient ancestors. Hmm, and yet father was attacked by Princess Zelda in the here and now. It does not add up. But if she's called Sage of Time, maybe you could figure it out. <laughs> well, one thing we know for certain is that we need to know more. Link, as I have ascended the throne, I must offer my sincerest apologies for being unable to accompany you. Still, I shall continue gathering information about our lost Princess Zelda. Please promise that you shall once again grace our fair Sora's domain with your presence sooner rather than later. Whatever comes to pass, know that you and I will always be connected by the power of a sage, no less. Wow of Wisdom. Wow of Sidon, Sage of Water. Nice, nice. Nice! Another main quest completed. Now we only have two places left on this regional phenomena. It's actually quite hype. And I guess Musu, you should be feeling stupid now. You doubted me in there in the beginning here. You thought I was evil, huh? Ah, Link, you have done it. With your help, King Sidon has realized his full potential and become a worthy successor. I can now leave Sora's domain free of concern. It's an inarguably in good hands. As it were, I have been tasked with joining Pura as a representative of the domain. I look forward to joining my efforts with those 
of our brave Sora soldiers. And what do the king has to say? Nothing? <laughs> it's just chilling? Ah, here. Link, words alone cannot express the depth of my gratitude for you. Though, I'm certain that your travels will continue. Know that you have the full support of the Sora, now and always. If there's anything I can do to aid you, please do not hesitate to ask me. What is next for you? Well, now that's my boy, King Sidon has... Not, well, now that my boy, King Sidon has ascended to the throne, I shall watch over the little ones and otherwise do as I please. Such is the privilege of a retired king. Once this world of our has overcome this danger, perhaps it would be fun to drag Muso along on a tour of Hyrule. Is there anything else you would like to ask me? The king scale? Hmm, it seems you have not yet exhausted your supply of king scales. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't want your scales. Sidon. Link, it seems the time has come for you to resume your heroic travels once again. I will continue seeking out information, our vanished Princess Zelda, you, you have my word. I am quite certain that this search for the princess will not be easy. Such important endeavors never are, are they? But no matter what transpires, know that I am always with you. Should you ever have need of me, simply ask and I shall appear. Good to know. Let's go and buy some arrows before we end this little episode. Otherwise, I will forget it. <laughs> I promise. Oh. I'll take them all. <laughs> Thank you for that. And with those arrows bought, this is a perfect time to end today's episode. If you have enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing as always, so you don't miss the rest of the episodes. This has been 23. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.